Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a highlight and contour video. I'm going to be showing you both cream and powder contours. So first of all, we're starting off with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. These are both warm shades because they have a yellow undertone. And as you can see, the model we are using today has a yellow complexion. So that's why we're going with this. And also to bring some sort of brightness underneath the eyes to make her look more awake. Using a concealer brush of your choice, I'm just putting that underneath the eyes closest towards the nose and underneath the eyes. I'm not going too far out because I want to keep the slimline shape that she already has. Moving on with the Beauty Blender, I'm just getting that it is slightly damp and I am going to be pushing the product in to her skin. Try not to be too harsh when you're doing this and take your time because you want everything to look nice, neat and blended. Make sure you don't miss the edge of the nose. This is going to give your nose a bit of a slimming effect. So a lot of people miss this out, but it's important to do that. Using a little bit more product, just adding some more concealer to the eye bags area, forehead, nose upper lip and chin. We're going to do this to give more of a full finish because when you only highlight the under eyes the rest of the face starts looking a bit flat so we're going to be doing slightly everywhere that we need to do. Again just using a beauty blender just pushing the product in and making sure that it's blended in well with the foundation. Now to set that I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix powder in NC40 and I'm going to be using the Morphe E48 brush and it is such an amazing brush for under eyes honestly, even contour but especially for the under eyes because it gets right in the inner corners and it sets beautifully. Also make sure you have taken out all the creases with the Beauty Blender before setting it otherwise what you're going to end up doing is just setting the creases and you do not want that. And remember, we're just pushing the product in and we're only setting the places that we have highlighted. We're not setting the rest of the face yet because we're going to go on to cream contour. For this part, we're going to be using peaches and cream. So for the cream contour, we're going to use a mini angled brush and we're going to be chiseling out those cheekbones. I love this one. This is the M334 by Morphe and I like this because it's small enough and big enough to do the job so you can use it any way you like and your contour will not be too wide or too thick. It's important that you know where you're placing this otherwise you sometimes you see contour that is too much and you've got such a tiny face and you've got this thick line of contour and you believe me you don't want that. I really really love the peaches and cream one because you can just slowly blend it and it's buildable and you just push the product in and there's not a lot of colour, which is a good thing because you can build according to whatever style that you want or however bold you're looking to do. And also remember, we don't want to put too much cream contour because we're going to also set it with powder so it's more long wearing. The powders I'm using is from the Anastasia Pro Refill Palette and I'll list down the colour that I've exactly used here because I cannot remember. And for this I'm using a goat hair brush, I can't remember if it's the MAC or Morphe one that I'm using. And I'm just pushing that product in. This colour is actually quite bronze, but I really like it because it just gives the face such a warm, glowy look at the same time. So we're just pushing that into the skin where we've already done contour. Again, just blend that in and, and down the chin and near the jawline. This is just going to give the jaw a bit of a definition. And remember, we don't want it to look too harsh again. So sometimes you don't need to put more powder on. You just need to build whatever's there. Just to add to the whole highlight, we're going to add some banana powder. This is also from the Anastasia kit. And we're just going to put it in the highlight areas that we already set before. Now, moving on to nose contour, I am using the Morphe E47 brush. And I really, really love this one for the nose contour. It's small and it's precise and the product goes exactly where you want it to. I'm not using cream contour here, I'm using powders only for the nose and I am using the colour Fawn. So we're going to make two straight lines down the nose and we're just going to put another line across the tip and also we're just going to follow the natural shape of the nose going up into the eyebrows. 
using a fluffy brush that has nothing on it I'm just going to be blending what's already there because this is a good tip so you don't have such a strong nose contour sometimes you just see people with two brown lines on their nose and we don't want that so going back in with the E47 we're just going to sharpen up the two lines and make sure that the nose is looking as slim and straight as possible going back in with the E48 brush we're just going to use some banana shade and put it, run it through the middle. This is so that whatever you've blended, sometimes it's easy for the brown shade to come over and make the nose look in proportion. So we use the banana shade to just clean everything up and make everything just blend into one. Going into my highlighter in the shade Dripping in Gold, this is from the Anastasia Glow Kit. Um, we're just getting a tapered fluffy brush, I don't know what it's called. Um, and we're just putting it on the top of the cheeks, slightly through the nose, above the eyebrows, and a little bit on the chin. Go ahead and add your favourite blusher, and that's all. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and this is the final look. I'll link everything down in the description bar, her lip colour and everything like that. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and enjoy the bloopers. See you next time. Bye. Hi guys. Oh what? Do you like my makeup? No, I'm joking. Don't. Don't end it. Just move something in my brow again now. Are you ready? Okay, that's the most it's going to get. <laughs> Is that off? Is that off? No. Oh. Recording. Is it done? <laughs>